Power Query is one of the best tools for transforming our data. You can analyze data, you can combine data sets, you can consolidate multiple sheets, and you can also uh, consolidate multiple workbooks. In this video, we learn how to consolidate multiple workbooks. And the data set that we have is a data set of population data per county for about 11 counties in Kenya. Now, we have Busia County and the other 10 counties have exactly the same uh, format as in we will have the age of the population, male, female and total. Then we have the ages from 51 to 100. These are the column is 0 to 50. Now, we have this stored in one folder and this folder here, I'm calling it County Stats, Busia, Oma Bay, all the way down to Tana River. So we want to use Power Query to consolidate these data sets so that they come in uh, in one workbook, then we can further analyze. So we'll open a new workbook, the workbook I want to deal with. Then you make sure that all the workbooks that you want to consolidate must be closed and in one folder. So I'll go to data, get data. We learn from the introduction to Power Query on the various tools, what you can do inside, that is get data from an Excel workbook, from a database, from Azure, other sources, combining queries, and so forth. Now for today, we look at consolidating data from a folder. So from file, Excel workbook, text, XML, JSON, PDF, and now to folder. So we'll click folder. Select the county stats folder, then click OK. This will establish a connection between Excel and the folder and loads the Power Query landing page. You'll have three options here to either combine, load, transform, or cancel. So for us, we are going to transform this data. This loads the count stats Power Query editor with all the workbooks um, that was in that folder. And at the top here, we'll see two arrows pointing downwards that is a shortcut for combining files. You'll also see the extension, date access, date modified, date created, attributes, and the folder path to where your files are saved. So what we'll do is click on the two arrows pointing downwards to combine the files. Click here to expand. This will evaluate the query where it will ask you to combine files. This is the File, so we're going to use the first file as a format and see the preview. So this is the first file. Then we click OK. When we click OK, the Power Query will automatically combine your files into one single file. So we can see here the count stats has been brought. Then when you click on this filter here, you'll see we have all the files uh, from all those workbooks. There you go. Now we have all the files. Uh, loaded. So you can close these queries and connections and you can now further analyze your data across. Thanks for watching. My name is David Kandir.